Hello. Meowdy, more like. <laughs> I feel like I legally have to say that now, every time I open up a stream, especially with Genshin. Hello. Uh, I haven't started the event at all. So, I believe that uh, I should probably just head right to that. I wonder if it'll just make me drop out of the sky. Oh, no, no, it's over there. It's not Catherine this time? Okay. Yeah, it's time for Cat Box. Wait, no, I walked in. What a disaster. I didn't even make it through the qualifiers. How'd you do it? I walked out of the city, but okay, game. <laughs> seen him out there feeding pigeons <sighs> no clue how he got to be such a good card player he's so good that they made a card of him so you know the next round starting soon right let's head over and watch the matches i'm curious to see who will win the grand prize actually i really hope that i don't have to actually play the tcg event because uh um i think i'm like level three or four in that i haven't done that that much I'm on. I'm not winning anything. Commence. A suspect genesis. The game's not me. That's, you know what? That's true. Um, I did do the tutorial for it, which was really long. Um, you had to do like four or five fight, I, fights. It's, I'm not battling them for their cards. Um, uh, Matches? Matches. Oh shoot, it me! That's Is that a common concern for cats? Uh, <laughs> it me! Oh, uh, sorry if those are tricky questions. I've just never seen anyone with two tails before. Who's the one that's petting me? Hmm. From her outfit, my mom would guess she'd probably be an Azuma. <laughs> probably. Thank you. Oh man, this was so cool. <laughs> sure, you're a yokai too, right? So yokai power must be really strong if you can already take on human form. Ah yes, Kirara, and thinking that every single thing is a yokai. I believe that she does that a couple times in the voice lines. I was just climbing a tree one day when another tail popped up, stuck out. People started calling me uh, uh um uh, Nekomaro. Are you sure about that, Diana? There's, half of the country is run by wolves, like sentient talking wolves that use like ice and stuff. I don't know. It's very yokai like. I have no idea how far behind I am on this event. <laughs> I guess my other pressing question is, is Venti allergic to her? Because she is a cat. Like, hmm. Hyd hydrate? What? I just started. I'll hydrate. 
Paimon, you are only here for ulterior motives. That ulterior motive being food. wings on their back and fox ears yeah i think technically you can see ayamiko's tails but then i think she'd have to kill you Wow, Inazuma business is like booming now that it's not uh closed up. Oh, no, no, don't climb the door. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Uh, let's see. Who am I talking to? No, I'm not talking. Oh, shoot. Right. Margaret outside, not in. Got it. I, for whatever reason, I thought that her boss was the actual cat for a second. Um, right. That's not how that works. We have an addiction. Is it all? Is it that low? I can fix that. <laughs> Better? Or is this too loud now? It's all right. There's bound to be a next time. This card game came out of nowhere and has already taken the world by storm. Who knows where it'll go next? The game's creators must be ecstatic with all the mm. success, don't you think? Oh. Oh, I mean, you probably already played the event. <laughs> I'm, uh, about a week late. <laughs> Man, I want to get prizes. We may have missed the boat on the official event, but there's also an unofficial tourney organized by some players. Would that interest you at all? Unofficial tourney? Yeah, there's no prizes. I mean, if they've officially unofficially set up a tourney, doesn't that kind of make it official? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yara is out traveling, and I love that for her.
Unofficially official, officially unofficial. Who knows? Right. If there's nothing else you needed, I'll be continuing my walk now. I might still think that with your abilities, winning the grand prize in the official tournament would have been as easy as mine. Hi, Mon, I've played like five card games. You're really overestimating my abilities. I think you've just summoned her. <laughs> or do you two have some breaking news to share with me? Whoa. Who are you? And why the heck are you eavesdropping on us? Oh, sorry. Force of habit. I tend to keep my ears peeled at all times. Didn't even realize I was listening in. I love her camera. It's so cute. It has a little bow tie. It's just a little guy. Let me anyway. Sounds familiar. Bird is a major news outlet headquartered in Fontaine and widely acclaimed all over to that. We even have regular columnists based right here in Monsta. Ooh, okay. Paimon's name is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. What was that you were saying about some breaking news? Oh, looks like I've managed to pique your interest. Well, the truth is that my keen reporting senses are telling me that this competition will be chock full of huge news stories. Huge hmm. news stories? You sure your senses are reliable? I'm on this is an international card event, like one of the few like actual like entertaining entertaining like activities that can be done as aside from like fighting things. I don't know. I feel like it's pretty newsworthy. Absolutely. After all, I've seen it with my own eyes. What do people do in their free time here? Maybe they're rare. Whatever the truth of the matter, it's my job as a journalist to dig up all the gory details and turn them into my very own exclusive news piece. I mean, didn't Sino like pay a million mora for one of the cards in the last event? Like, I don't know. So, what do you Makes think? sense. Want to join me in my quest to uncover the sensational story that's hiding behind the scenes? Hmm. That does sound Yeah, he definitely did. Well, when you put it like that, we seem to have done a lot of things. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, it seems like we've ended up making quite a big name for ourselves, huh? Let's hear some more of our... <laughs> really did her homework. Aren't there few of you? Does she research all her new friends before meeting them for the first time? I promise you, teaming up with me will be a great move for you. For starters, when my exclusive news article is published, you'll be credited as contributors. Good evening, Chrono. I am doing well. I need to catch up on this event. Oops. Not to mention that being in a news agency makes me pretty well connected. That'll come in real handy if you're ever traveling in Fontaine. Oh. And if you ever wanted to run an ad in the paper one day, no problem. I could make that happen. A very specific, like, a very specific deal, but also, yeah, hey, missing sibling right in the paper. Oh, the Tuntailed Courier song is just fun. Also, the uh, the 3.7 trailer song is just, it's so bouncy and fun. I really love it. That actually sounds genuinely useful. What do you think, Traveler? Uh, yeah, why not? We should do this. Establish some connections. Ah, I've heard that the Traveler always lends a helping hand, so it's nice to know that you live up to your reputation. But even nicer to experience it for myself. Considering that we're doing this for exposure and not for, like... We're not doing this pay, so, you know. Now then, before we start investigating our card snatcher, I have one other small task to take care of first. Oh 
yeah, I heard that uh, that the uh, demo trailer one really does remind people a lot of the uh, of a uh, '90s anime. It definitely rings that for me as well. Congratulations, Mona. You have money. Yep, I have the address right here. We just need to make a slight detour to drop off the Mora, and we'll be on our way. <laughs> I thought you would have figured out who it is I'm talking about by now. From what I've heard, you're quite well acquainted. Oh, someone we know? Mm, that doesn't narrow it down much. We know lots of people in Mondstadt. Is Mona part of the main storyline, or has she only, like, shown up in events? Because, like, I know she's definitely been, like, important in events and the like, but... Could it be theoretically possible to do this without being acquainted with her? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> 29 being an old man. Just events. Huh. Maybe the dialogue is different if you haven't done any, any of those, then? One of your mm. rich friends, I'd assume. After Best of all, well, uh, well, uh, best of luck. City, right? Oh no, she actually runs. Wait, right. come back. That still doesn't really narrow it down. We know lots of people with lots of mora. Wow, I guess being a national hero earns you friends in high places. <laughs> I don't know if I would say that Mona has a lot of mora. More or less. Uh. Who is it? Can I help you? Oh, Traveler Paimon, what brings you here? And I'm sorry, I don't believe we're. You must be Mona Magistus, the astrologist. It's an honor to finally meet you. I love that Charlotte talks in like 1.5 speed. <laughs> it's so great. I'm sure you with this cash bonus she got mona's full name and title right on her first try sure as that do her homework ah oh, you must be charlotte well so welcome please just call me mona gosh it's a long way to come from fontaine i hope it wasn't too much trouble <laughs> yeah that is reporters in a nutshell it was on the way part of the uh job description my column all things astrological for the steam bird for a long time now the chief editor wrote to me a while ago about the bonus thank goodness it's finally here I can <gasps> oh, oh, no. thank you charlotte she sounds like she's living paycheck to paycheck still huh. you make it sound like you really needed this are you pressed for money mona what no of course not it's just that once i knew the bonus was coming i reallocated some funds that I'd previously set aside for daily necessities and purchased some expensive equipment. That's all. Right! I forgot! She's broke not because she doesn't earn money, but because she keeps spending it on things. <laughs> Classic Mona. Aha! Uh -huh, perfect! Renowned astrologist broke into <laughs> Do the stars really... Oh my god! <laughs> the article practically writes itself. I... Maybe don't write that about people. is a bit of a stretch. Uh, anyway, enough about that. What brings you back to Mondstadt this time, Traveler and Paimon? Yeah, especially with how, like, niche of a study it is in this world. Like, I bet that the tools for it are insanely expensive and custom-made and everything. I don't blame her, but also, maybe don't use your living expenses on it. Originally, we just came to catch it's like a Zhong Li level of, a uh, more, uh, allocation. The amount of puns! Yes! 
Are you going to star in this, Mona? These days to dedicate time to a competition. Besides, even if I did enter, there's no guarantee I'd actually win a prize, is there? Okay, yeah, that's fair. Isn't there? I'd have thought you'd be certain to win with astrology on your side. You'd know all of your opponent's cards ahead of time. What do you take me for? No self-respecting astrologist would dream of abusing their beloved art for such crude purposes. Besides, it wouldn't be fair to the other contestants. Well said. Hmm. Spoken like an accomplished academic and a conscientious citizen. Well, yes, obviously. Anyway, if past precedent is anything to go by, you're the one <laughs> who ought to be wary of what's around the corner. Especially if you're chasing after this card snatcher, was it? Sounds like bad news. Shall I take a glance at what you're up against? I mean, listen, star puns are just universal. You know? Thanks for the offer, but there's no need. Relying on your astrological skills for all the juicy details would make <laughs> this story a Mona exclusive. But that's not quite the kind of exclusive report I'm going for here. What's that one meme? Like, girls girls who say uh, hi and girls who say bra? Girls who say nya. Nya? But don't you worry. They call it investigative journalism for a reason. We journals have our ways. Journals? Is that... Is that what journalists call themselves? All right. Hmm. Best of luck with your investigation, then. Thanks again for bringing the bonus, Charlotte. Do give my regards to the chief editor. Take care of yourself, Mona. Yes, we should. I'll hold you to that. Please do not starve. I will hold you to that. I think it's about time we started heading to the competition venue. The Mondstadt Regional Final should be starting shortly. All right. Raven can't wait to find out who the finalists are. Kirara in the storyline is just like... I'm not paid enough to deal with this. <laughs> uh, where is the venue? Is it still in Mondstadt? It is. Okay. Off we go. <laughs> I mean, I definitely talked pretty fast as Kirara as well. So, I, I have no room to talk. Three point seven is just a uh, haste buff. Oh. Wow! So this is the venue, huh? That's cute. It's lively here. Oh. Oh, Kaya. Well, if it isn't the traveler in Paimon. What a rare surprise. Did you really come all this way just to watch Timmy and me in the final? Timmy? <laughs> Timmy's in the finals? <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, I'm glad y'all are pulling Kiara. I had such a difficult time with getting her. <laughs> oh, you and Jim for days. Naturally, I wouldn't have considered entering the competition were I not already on top of my work. Mm, I I haven't been playing Genshin as often as I used to. Like, I definitely played way more before, I think, like, Act 2 of Inazuma? Um, I, I fell out of it for, like, unrelated reasons, honestly. Guys and Chongyun. <laughs> yeah, I got cursed with, uh, like, 12 Yunjins. It's, it's insane. And I actually... I did like some stream hopping where I would like hop into people pulling for her and like whenever I showed up they would just get like so many Yunjins and I'm just like I'm so sorry I'm just a Yunjin magnet for some reason. Ooh double account. Probably or were they pulling for like a specific five star on a different account or something? Or is it just you know so they can play with other people? Also C5 ah I have C6 it just took a while. Um, I'm not gonna disclose that. Uh, man, so free to play. She yoinked my free to play status from me. Ah, uh. Enjoying a drink while playing a few rounds of cards. I can't think of a better way to relax outside of work. Can you? 
Oh, just be sure not to tell Diarrhea. Oh, well, they're crying. I, I hope it's happy tears. Oh, that's good. <laughs> also, Kaya, enjoying a drink while playing a few rounds of cards against, like, an eight-year-old. I don't know how to say it or that. We're going for the character you voice. Yeah. I'm legally obligated to. It's actually in the <laughs> it's in the fake fine print of this contract that I'm don't have in front of me. Yeah, Kaya has no What's a nose, really? Well, since you're in the competition, have you noticed anything suspicious going on so far? You know, like people stealing other players' cards and that kind of thing. Kaya sitting there like, oh yeah, I've been doing that uh for the past couple rounds. Nah. But I'm afraid I haven't seen anything of that sort. Not while I've been playing, anyway. Why do you ask? Well, we just ran into this journalist from Fontaine, and she... Huh? She tore each other's off. She was right here, wasn't she? Paimon has the observation of one of Jolie's rocks. As in, no, she does not. There she is. Steenberg. I do recall seeing a Steenberg reporter listed in the Knights of Pavonius visitor log. Oh, right. They have one of those. I just keep, like, jumping into the city from, like, the walls, and I forget that they have, like, a, a log. Yeah, that'll be her. She said that she saw a card snatcher at the tournament venue, so we're helping her investigate. I think she found them. Question, Paimon. Are you sure that cards are really what this snatcher is after? Huh? What makes you say that? Hello, everyone. Your attention, please. Hmm. The final is about to begin. Now, let's get oh, a warm welcome to our Thanks for stopping in. <laughs> Timmy's just been Once waiting. There, let's continue this conversation another time. Thanks, traveler. Go get him, Kaya. We'll see you in a bit. I genuinely hope that Timmy wins. It would be the funniest thing. Wait, no, that's sparkly. It's sparkly. I want it. Yeah, it's Timmy. Yeah, Timmy seems to be a pretty strong TCG player. I mean, I fought him once, though. He's like one of the first ones that you can battle. Although, I guess you can do it again and he's stronger then? Someone's brain is just a second stomach. All right. Shiny thing, shiny thing. Where? Where? Here. Hand it over. Okay. A light novel centered around TCG? Uh, oh, talk to Charlie. Hello. in five minutes if I had to. Personally, I'm more interested in those two. They are, uh, acting sus. Acting very strangely, like they're trying to stay out of sight. I'm sure they must be plotting something. Huh? <gasps> you mean there are two card snatchers? Shh, keep your voice down. I don't want to scare them off. We need to wait until we've got something concrete. Then we can use my camera to catch them in the act. Huh? Wait, where'd the other guy go? <laughs> yes, shout it. Shout it into the wind. You'll definitely not alert them. You seem like you've done this before. Do you spy on people often? <laughs> oh, you're too kind. You should see this. Gonna interrupt her, so I'll wait a second. Oh, there they go. He's heading toward Mondstadt's side gate. Let's follow him, but quietly. We mustn't let him spot us. 
You'll never find me if I'm a box. Right? Aha. I'm like Solid Snake. You'll never find me in this. Oh. Yes, I turned back. Uh, this feels like they're about to, like, take us out behind a back alley and try to kill us. Bling. All right. Is he bait? Huh. Okay. Alright. <laughs> oh, no, I'm on cooldown! Oh, you can explode. Have fun! Walk forward a step. I dare you. Anyway. Are you all right? <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I thought it was <laughs> for me. Those treasure hoarders, did you know them? It sure looked like they were here just for you. I mean, it's not a terrible way to go, like tiny jelly. It's just a bomb, don't worry about that. Why would I know them? Uh, I was just uh, out for a walk. <laughs> And then the next thing I knew, I was surrounded. You'd be more believable if you said, I want to go out into the, to the fishing hole because you can't fish at uh, every location with water. You have to go to very specific spots. Oh, really? Then why did they target you? It wouldn't be because of some dubious deal you were involved in at the tournament, would it? Hello. Doing pretty well. A little bit tired, I guess, so... <laughs> Sorry if my commentary isn't exactly uh, riveting. I'll let them carry it. It's fine. I, uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You're very convincing, my guy. Uh, uh, uh. Well, that's a shame. You see, I'm a journalist, and I just happened to snap a picture of you and one other individual in the middle of a deal back at the tournament. I was only going to ask you for an interview, but that was before you caused all this trouble. And now you're feigning ignorance of the deal in question. Uh, Charlotte's V8... Yes and no, um, not an official official one, but like in the special program, uh, she was like, uh, able, like, to say her name, but like not, uh, Charlotte isn't out yet. That is the best way to put that. Hmm, maybe I'm just wasting my time. Shall I just cut my losses and hand over the evidence to the Knights of Favonius? At least it's not like Scaramouche, who I think was under the NDA, uh, blanket for like, Two years or something? Because he he first showed up in like a 1.1 1 .1 event? Something like that. That was when Mona was there as well, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, please. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> Seven years ago. approached by some random guy who said that he wanted to buy a card back off me. I said, okay, how much are you offering? And when he told me the amount, well, my jaw practically hit the floor. Really? What kind of card back was it? Uh, nothing special. I just picked it up at the general goods store. Uh, it, it had a treasure chest design on it. I only bought it because it was dirt cheap. This guy offered me three times what I paid for it and handed me the mora right then and there. I could hardly believe my luck. So I uh, I decided to head somewhere less crowded and check the mora was real. That's when I ran into the treasure hoarders. Did you ask him why he wanted to purchase this item from you? Probably not. No, I didn't. Genius yeah. Education TCG has been getting pretty popular lately and some people will pay good mora to make their decks look flashy. It didn't strike me as that unusual. 
So card backs are like the card sleeves, I'm guessing. The like fancy card sleeves so, or the like... Oh, the, 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 the customizable backs. Right, right, right. That's actually a system in the game. But after I gave him the card back, he let out a sigh of relief and said something about, uh, that's all the months, that ones. Next stop, Lire. Or something like that. Well, this guy's just a hardcore collector. Duh. People will pay a lot for cardboard crack. He either said that or he didn't. How certain are you? I'm positive. I, I know what I heard. Once the card was in his hands, he suddenly relaxed like a huge burden had been taken off his shoulders. It was genuine relief. Could, could that card back really be as valuable as he thought? Yeah, if someone is willing to pay three times the amount that you paid for something like on the spot right there, I feel like you should haggle a little higher because they're definitely willing to pay higher than that. Also, hello. That I don't know, but in the interests of your personal safety, I suggest you report all of this to the Knights of Favonius. After all, you weren't doing anything against the law, were you? Uh, right. Yeah. No, that makes sense. I'll go speak to the Knights of Favonius right away. What laws are there in Mondstadt? Someone out there is going from nation to nation, shelling out huge sums of money for a few card bags bought from a grocery store? My gut tells me that there's more to this story than the card back alone. <laughs> this entire situation reeks of exclusive news. Maybe it was designed by a famous artist. Ooh. Okay, so it's not necessarily criminal activity. His physique and the way he moved were identical to the card snatcher I saw last time. I'm sure it's the same guy. He was much more discreet this time, though. I guess he didn't want to risk trying anything with so many potential witnesses around. From the sounds of it, we need to head to Leroy next, right? Paimon can't wait! We have tons of friends in Leroy, too. But shouldn't we check in with Kaya before we leave? Paimon at least wants to find out who won the final. Yeah, I want to see if Timmy kicked his butt. <laughs> uh, is it faster to just TP? Yes, it is. Cool. And off we go. Whee. I, huh. It's all right. You don't need to comfort me. <laughs> Congrats, I'm still gonna eat your pigeons. This is why he got so much stronger. At this rate, he's gonna be the final boss of the game. This must be the journalist from Fontaine you mentioned earlier. Charlotte, was it? Enchante. Wow. Kaya, cavalry captain of the Knights of Favonius. I trust you're I'm enjoying ready. your time in Mondstadt. The pleasure is all mine. Mondstadt's reputation as the city of song and freedom is truly deserved. The mood here is simply delightful. I feel like if you fought Timmy, he'd like summon like increasingly aggressive and terrifying pigeons like the, the cuckoos from uh, Legend of Zelda or something. Nigh, undebe bleh, nigh undefeatable. And they take a chunk of your damage. <laughs> I'm glad you're liking it. Like a swarm. You all rushing towards the city's side gate earlier. Did you find something? I couldn't get it off my mind, even during the competition. Hmm, I see. So it seems we have an answer to Kaya's question from earlier. What the card snatcher is really after is these card backs. But we still haven't figured out why he cares so much about them. Hmm. Well, while I'd love to accompany you all to Lire Harbor. I'm afraid I still have my Knights of Favonius duties to attend to. Yeah, where are your horses? <laughs> In fact, our top priority right now is strengthening Mondstadt's defenses. Treasure hoarder activity has been increasingly rampant lately. Don't worry, we'll keep you in the loop if we find anything. In fact, if Charlotte's journalistic instinct is on point, you'll probably be 
be reading her exclusive report in the Steam Bird before long. Welcome back. Wonderful. Timmy beat Trinkaya. reading all about it. <laughs> Thanks for supporting quality journalism. Okay, let's take tonight off and head to Leo at Harbor tomorrow. That'll give me a chance to write down everything that's happened today. Oh, Paimo wanted to ask. See the two people on this poster? Are they the inventors of Genius Invitation TCG? So Ooh, I can't wait for this to be tragic and sad. Which, I, I got this recommended to me on YouTube already because, of, of course, they put it up after it's been like a week or so. I haven't seen it, though. But I know it's sad. Maybe, but very little is known about either of them. Whether they've been living under a rock this whole time or aren't <laughs> interested in fame, I don't know. But hardly anybody has ever seen them. The poster is probably just an artist's impression to capture the general look and feel of the duo. Beyond that, I doubt it's very true to life. Sounds like they're a couple of socially reclusive scholars. If Paimo were in their shoes, she'd be showing up to all the events, signing autographs, selling cards, and probably getting complimentary food and drinks. They're socially reclusive scholars. We'll probably find them in Sumeru, right? <laughs> I approve. And to top it off, you could play a few rounds of Genius Invocation with everyone. I was reading up on the game's inventors before I came to Mondstadt. I was originally hoping to arrange an interview with them, but I soon discovered that there's no mention anywhere of where they live or of any genius invocation events that they've attended. It's as if they've designed the game and then never played it again. Or played it under a pseudonym. Either they don't want to play the game, or they're unable to. But they must have their reasons. I wonder if they'll show up at all during the King of Invocation's Grand Prix. Maybe, if you get lucky. And based on my experience, the Traveler seems to have no shortage of that. Yeah, we have main character syndrome. Everything just happens. If there's like a chance of it happening, no matter how small, like, oh, what are the chances of that happening? Well, now that I'm here, 100%. Or oh, really? 90. Well, that gives me one less thing to worry about. Hearing that puts... Hearing that that puts you at ease puts me at ease. Anyway, our focus is still on tracking down the card snatcher. I heard Snezhnaya has an old saying. If you try chasing two rabbits at once, you'll only end up empty-handed. <laughs> the Traveler and Paimon could always split up and chase one rabbit each. Oh, okay. Now Paimon's feeling hungry. We can worry about all this later. Right now, it's time to get some grub. <laughs> you can always trust Paimon to know where life's priorities lie. If it's food you're after... I recommend taking a look at the nearby stalls. Ah, uh, main character logic with artifacts. Well, um, you see, the logic there is that, um, that's in the training montage, and unfortunately, we don't get to skip the montage. The tournament has brought quite a crowd, so there's a lot of fun to be had around the venue. Oh yeah, persistence. A lot of pain. Oh, round one complete. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> I thought my game crashed. <laughs> All right. Uh, sure. I will do these, I guess. Don't look at how many quests I have in my log. Uh, if you have a minute, I'd like to tell you a little bit about this event hosted by the Adventurers Guild called A Tour of Wonders. Sure. Um, scenic checkpoints. Sightseeing log? What is this, Final Fantasy XIV? I haven't done that. I should. Okay. Dangerous. Cool. Maybe don't have this as an event for regular people? This is why, by the way, the TCG is so popular. It's like the one non-dangerous activity to actually participate in. Oh, they are all open. <laughs> okay, let me go unlock all these other things first. I think they're all here, so... Oh, Mika, what? Oh. Uh, too bad you weren't here to see it. We're afraid that Captain Kaya lost. Oh shoot, Huffman! Everyone loves Huffman. What? Tell me everything. What happened? Well, 
I don't know much about genus invocation myself, but I did try to follow along by listening in to what everyone was saying. Captain Kaya took out one of Timmy's character cards right at the start, giving him an early advantage. Mm -hmm. I guess that was <gasps> part of his opponent's strategy? In any case, Timmy spent the first few rounds stocking up cards in his hand and then swung the game with a brutal offensive right at the end. <sighs> I, you know, maybe the match was already over from the moment they flipped a coin and determined that Kaya would go second. <sighs> I need a drink. Calm down, bro. Now bro? Now's not the time to start drinking your sorrows away. Knowing Captain Kaya, he wouldn't want to see you upset over his loss. Also, it's just a card game, man. I don't think you need to drink your sorrows away. Hey, over that, anyway. Learn how to play too. Maybe then we'll get to play against Captain Kaya someday. <laughs> Though, I'm sure we'd lose pretty badly to him. Uh, yeah, you're right, Mika. <laughs> Not a bad plan. Yeah, it's like Yu-Gi-Oh. If you lose, um, you get sent to the Shadow Realm. You get sent to uh, the Abyss. All right, that's neat. Um, wait, what does Timmy have to say? Hello, Timmy. I won! I won! Bye, Timmy! <laughs> no! What Master Duel? I have not seen that. All I really know of Yu-Gi-Oh! is A, the cards I collected as a kid because I thought they were neat. Um, and the, uh, other thing is, uh, that one time someone brought a deck that was like 2,000 cards or something. To prove a point. Mission Impossible, because it was the, it was like German for shuffling, shuffling impossible, because the deck was purely made to spitefully shuffle. Oh no, people take an hour to do their power move turn one. Oh, we love meta. We love meta. It's awful. Thanks. I can't wait to tell my mom. This will make her really happy, won't it? What did you win, my guy? Okay, you're like a good kid. I'm sorry we keep killing your pigeons. I really wish my dad could see me now. He won a new dad! Tricks! <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I never played Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't... Isn't it, like, notoriously, like, uh, confusing? I mean, that might have changed over the years, but, like... Ooh. Uh, what are you up to? Tabletop game. Heart of the Dice. Okay. Card games and combat. Do, do I throw dice at people? Strategically using my dice to throw at people. You, man said that violence was the answer, yes? Okay. Oh, this is actually combat. Okay. Huh. So I should have a monotype team? I mean, this one doesn't involve me traveling, so I might as well just do this right now. Dungeon Dice Monsters. Um, I'll do hard. I don't think I'll be able to do extreme without trouble. No, you're good. I just... I, I don't really understand Yu-Gi-Oh that much. That has not changed since I was a kid. I just, as a kid, was just like, Oh man, the blue eyes white dragon! So, like, I have a... What was it? Not first edition, first edition, but, like, maybe, like, a little bit afterward. It has the original art, like, the goofy-looking one on it. And I, I liked that one. It was one of the few cards I had, like, in a card sleeve because I thought it was cool. Oh. Oof. Reading. Um, let's see. You know what? I'll, I'll do the Yurara team, even though I don't think that's my best team. I kind of stopped before Dendro, so I don't exactly have a lot of good Dendro uh, teams. 
Oh, right. I can't level up Yae. I can't level up Yae because uh, I might not have Enkanomiya unlocked. Um, so that's a thing that I should probably do at some point. <laughs> It's fine. Surprisingly, I had a couple of the mat the boss mats, even though I don't have it unlocked. I don't know where I got it from. Probably an event at some point. Yu-Gi-Oh players don't read. Yeah, just like how Final Fantasy players don't use math. Basic math. Uh, monster list. Oh, yeah. Anima will be great here. Probably. I don't know. I don't know. I, I've never been to Enkanomiya, so I don't think I co-opt the boss. Like, it's like two dragons. I've never done that. Uh, let's see. I'll do this. Wait. Do I even need... Ah, do I even need it? Do I even need the, the, the shockwave? Bam. Uh, you know what? Let's see. Ah, amazing. <laughs> Listen, the fact that like basic math is a consistent mechanic in 14 means that people are going to absolutely screw up. Remember, everyone, one is, in fact, not a prime number. Kirara Box is dead. So is her burst. It has surprisingly high scaling on it. No, I missed. My sacrificial, no. Um, am I supposed to beat a certain number, or is it just beat as many as you can with it? Oh, I think it's just as many as you can in a certain time frame. Okay. Um, I do not have a Claymore user. Interesting. I don't think I'm gonna- maybe, maybe, wait, hold on. I did get him. Nice. Cool! Thanks, Kazoo. I can always count on you. I Yes, I absolutely had a ton of fun doing all those meows and stuff. <laughs> uh. <laughs> meows are so good. Literally, it, my whole life led up to this moment. <laughs> oh no, Hydro Mimics? That's mean. Okay, I think I'm gonna use a uh, Ayaka team then because that's no, that's gross. Um, do do do. All right. I knew it. I knew you would start off with this. Oh, it's just all mimics. Okay. Wow. That's awful. And... Oh. Take that. Uh, I do not need... <laughs> I guess I really don't need to until here. Oops. That's fine. Oh, ice. Nice, ice. Icily nice.
Uh, let's see. Ah! No! <laughs> the freaking entry, because I've never fought these apparently. Amazing. <laughs> you can tell how much I, uh, didn't play. Oops. In my defense, every quest I have is, like, locked behind five other quests. I don't know if that's much of a defense. Anyway. Right. That is also fast. Nice. Just two more. Uh, this one is... Oh, Ruin. Hmm, that's fun. Um... Do I play Star Rail? Too much! <laughs> I play Star Rail an amount. Um... Uh... I still need to do my world sim clear... Or simulated universe. Not a world, it's... An amount. <laughs> Listen! I... I like the game too much. Um, it is a problem. The, the danger is that I can set it on auto and therefore I can just do other things. Um, and yeah, now I have a very overpowered welt, which I, I hold very dear. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I do have a I do have official, so I can at least do the thing on the do the thing with the thing on the ruin guards. Weak spots. That's words. Congrats on the weld. He was my guarantee and like man, if I was so happy. <laughs> He's so good. Ooh, burning. That interesting. Yeah, I don't even need official for that. Okay, goodbye. Emerge. Right here. Emerge. <laughs> oh, come on. Here we go. Um bird. So goofy. <laughs> oh my gosh. The fact that it does that much is genuinely hilarious. Like, I don't have her built on attack either. That burst is just scary. Oh, no. Whoop. Ooh, ah, I should get out of the bad circle. Okay. Go away, please. I really don't like fighting ruined things. Uh, okay. Am I free? I am free. I do wish that I could, like... Well, I mean, I guess the idea is that you do, do these, like, each day that they're unlocked instead of just all at once, so... Eh, never mind. Uh, hmm. These are all things that can be swirled and crowd controlled. Interesting, interesting. Okay. All right, so I guess I'll start with official, do this, this. <laughs> I 
and then I get to do it again. Yay! <laughs> All right. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> wait! <laughs> Hold on! I'm on! Wait a second! <laughs> she can't be stopped! <laughs> oh man. I guess that the in game clock turned over? <laughs> but also, uh. Explore the area ahead of us later. <laughs> Has very much that energy. What? No, where's the other things? By the way, the fact that also you can jump into the birds that the uh, Hydro, um, the Oceanid has is very, very great. Um, I mean, I definitely already have gold, so it's fine. I'm just gonna... I can just use the... I can use the dice thing even while I'm a cat. Oh, that's amazing. That's true, I can use gadgets while I'm a cat. Hello! Uh, is that all of them then for this? Uh, yes, that is all of them. Nice. Oh, thank you for the follow! Uh, event details. Was it this? No, that was not it. Uh, this one. No. You... No. You. Yes. I'd like a claim all button, please. Cat strong. Okay, um, what's this one? Okay. Gears. Oh, hello. Yes, person I definitely know. Oh, you can't pull for Kiara. It's okay, she's in standard, so like she'll come back. Drink water. Uh, okay. Oh, I actually really like these kinds of puzzles. We'll see how good I am at it. Oh, sorry, I slashed your knees. <laughs> You're okay, right? You you don't need your knees anyway. You you just stand there. Okay, so what does it mean by swap surfaces? Ah, okay. I see. I see. Can I swap it? This way? No, there's only two ways I can swap. Okay. Well... No, that wouldn't work. I think it has to be swapped. Yeah, otherwise that wouldn't be able to reach. Can I just put a large gear there? No. How do I... There we go. Remove. You... Need medium, okay. You need medium because large is too big. So medium. That works. Nice. Unveil. Oh, that's cute. Why does it need to be? Why does it need, uh, need gears? Not like it's moving or anything. Alright, so there are two surfaces that can be swapped. This is the one that's moving. Let's start with these. Yeah, so this has to be swapped. Okay. Thank you for the fellow. Uh, I am using my brain. Large, medium. 
one's just gonna be another large. Nice! Unveil. Oh, shoot, that's, uh, that's Helix's house. Are there any more here? Is that it? Hello! I am catching up on all of the things that I have missed. Oh, shoot, I just straight up get to have this. Oh, that's why this is in the... Uh, okay, so I can't do that here. That is fine. Um, What's the last one? This is the last one I haven't done, right? Okay. You. Hello. The scenery here is Hello. Um, zero hour invocation? Oh, pre-built. Oh, no, I have to actually play the game. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm, I'm doing a draft. Imagine actually playing TCG during the TCG event. What? Mind you, I do this and I'm just sitting here going, oh god, I fought every triple triad NPC in Final Fantasy XIV and got all of those cards and I want to scream at the idea of doing it again in another game. Cheerful Torchbearer. What a name. So you're the one oh, it's Amber! It's a real competition this time, so you better be ready. Okay. Cool. Uh, two charges of energy for all the characters. Neither player will have to roll. Oh! Okay, so it's a faster version. I'm not doing a serious one. I'm not good at this. So, re sure, if you recommend it. Um, sure. Oh! Oh, these are... Okay, okay, so I'm not choosing... Wait. Okay, you know, I'll just go with the recommend for now. Um, no... That's... I remember Xiao's card, I feel like. No, I'm remembering a different card that has Xiao on it. Yeah, different thing. Um... For elemental reactions... Probably... Maybe Vape? Possibly? Oh, you have Barbara. Mind you, I, I've only played with, like, the beginning cards, so I don't know what any of these do. Uh, when you cast a character as Diluc, equip it. Oh! They have cards? Okay. Cast a character as Diluc. Wait, nope, that's this one. Um, next switch character will be a fast instead of combat action. Okay. You... Okay. Oh dear. Um Okay, that's not that's not bad. I'm glad that there's random decks, but also like it does mean that I don't know any of these cards. How am I gonna be using Dealer Gray now? I mean eventually. I'll I'll switch this one out, see what else there is. Oh, more food. Amazing. Okay. All right. Active character. Probably set up with the Oceanid. Contamination must be washed away. Fair enough. Okay. Oh, wow. We just start with two. Okay. Okay. Um, what? Can I just... All right. Ocean Mimic. Regular attack. And in this one, oh, this is two ocean mimics. You know what, Jar? Yeah. <laughs> Nearer than myriads. That seems fun. Time for a showdown. I let it rain. Oh, shoot, the animated cards, though. Uh, what is this? Each friendly summon deals additionally two de- Oh, that's pretty nice. Sure. <laughs> I guess. 
No. Funny. Um, probably switch this out now. I don't have any dice left though, but. Oh, right. I can't switch unless I have dice. Right, right, right. Okay. End turn. And you're going to end your turn? What do these do? Oh, help oh, me. Oh, huh. So instead of it, so Tide and Torrent, I'm guessing, is this one? No. No? No, that one! Oh, shoot! So instead of it costing. Wait. I mean. Okay, at this point, I'm just using the Oceanid. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, oh. Well, never mind. Can I switch quickly? Yeah, I'll do that. I'd rather just go and do the thing. Switch. Switch. So, like, their identities as Archons got, like, leaked, right? <laughs> Wait, what? Next switch character action you perform this round will be considered a fast action. I thought that I... I guess not? What does this do? Oh, wait, no, that's perfect? Oh, that's actually genuinely perfect. No, do this, do this, do this. Swirl that. Oh, I thought that switched me. <laughs> Oops. Never mind. I mean... Screw it. Play that and then switch to... Resistance swiftly. I still have one. I still have one. What do I do? Literally nothing. Okay. Um... Yes. No? What do you do? That I don't think is going to be helpful. Okay. That's... Uh, screw it. This is uneasy, right? I can just, I can just do this and win, right? <laughs> Am I allowed just to win on a... Oh, probably not. <laughs> Uh, uh, I just, yes, just, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> oh, silently judging. No, that's fair. I'm terrible at this. I'm very bad. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do this. Alas, I do, and I do not know what I'm doing. <laughs> Sure. I don't think I'm going to be doing this one anymore <laughs> after this particular match. It takes a while and I'm very confused. <laughs> Last one again. I have t I have seven days left, technically speaking. No, not Timmy. There's no reason for that reaction. Oh, they have a heal. Wait, you have... One health. Anything I do will just murder you. 
So I'm gonna do that. Oh wait, actually, if it costs the same amount of dice because it's all Omni dice, I should have just summoned the Mimic. Dang it. Uh, interesting. Oh, well, I mean, I could just switch to Diluc now. Let's finish this. And then just use the, yeah. Okay, you're gone. Wait, really? You don't even have to win? I can just spam random buttons until I'm done? Dang. If that's the case, I can just do a speed run where I just speed run my loss. Cool. That was awful. Oh god, how many more of this do I have to do? Oh, there's four! Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, complete ice. Oh, this is in Leah, and this is- okay. I can't even do that. L listen, I- give me more of these weird gear puzzles any day. I am very bad at TCG. Um, I do believe, though, as Paimon interrupted our, you know, gaming, that I can do the next part of this quest. So, oh, wait, weapon reward. Gimme. Now I have another bow. Now, if only I had more spears. I still have three spears that I'm sharing amongst everybody. Alright. Round two. Oh, no! No! <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> I... That is something I genuinely do not like. The fact that, like, you can get gated by uh, other quests that you have. Because you can't get rid of quests. You can't, right? Like, I can't abandon this quest. So, there's nothing I can do. I have to do the quest now. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's part of the reason why I haven't done a lot of the things, because they're blocked by so many quests, and those quests are blocked by, like, small side quests that I completely forgot I picked up, and it's just like, ah. Alright. I believe this is the Bijul one? We searched to the north, but couldn't find anyone who matched the description. Well, that complicates things. And the city folks say there's no sign of them either. We need to start looking further afield. But where are we going to get the people? Did someone say people? Excuse me, sirs. Wait, Have why is Baiju here? About my dad yet? Wait, did I? I feel like I missed something. Or did I like start it and I completely forgot about the first like part of this? I thought that I just grabbed it and I didn't start it at all. Who's this kid? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I, I have no idea who you are. What brings you out this way? I don't know. Why am I here? Yeah, like I, I unlocked it through the the uh, keys, the story keys. But like, why am I here? The boy asked for our help, so we're here to join the search. Any new developments to update us on? Maybe I did do it, and I just completely forgot. Oh, thank goodness. We were just discussing how we're running out of manpower. Oh, you know what probably happened? I probably unlocked it, was in the, like, starting area for something entirely different. And then it just auto-started, and I got confused. As for updates, I'm sorry to say that we've searched the surrounding area thoroughly, but didn't find anything. The guards at the crossing up ahead said they hadn't seen anyone either, so we don't believe he was heading towards the Gwaley Plains. But it is possible that he was bound for Luhua Pool. Luhua Pool? The terrain there can be tricky to navigate. Let's hope he hasn't run into any trouble. All right, we're taking it. Oh, great. We can't thank you enough. Sorry we weren't able to find your dad, buddy. Let's be real. Now that we're going to Luhua Pool, that's where they're going to be. That's okay. Thank you for trying. 
Oh, that's what you do with Dios. Yeah, it that's a thing that happens sometimes. I take a bunch of quests and I forget about things, and then I get sucked into an entirely different quest and I get very confused. I think that's a me problem though. That that's not really the game's fault. That's definitely my fault. So over here. Now, where? Oh, there. Hello, generic NPC. Are you this kid's dad? Appreciate your patronage. Hmm, that's a way to put that. Okay. Huh? Dad. Me too. Huh? My my Zuki we have here. It's the traveler in Python and my worst nightmare. The one who keeps people from dying. saving this man dad are you okay do you recognize me it's me i you uh, uh, you're are you uh, 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 who am i your name is jiao liang and you live just west of chingsa village you were supposed to come to liyue harbor to see the doctor remember does that jog your memory oh uh, uh, my name is jiao liang Liyue Harbor, see the doctor? Uh, yes, yes, I, I'm Jia Yong, and I need to see the doctor. Wait, uh, why do I need to see the doctor? Uh-oh, he seems in really bad shape. We need to get him back to Boo Boo Pharmacy right away. Sorry, Hotel, got a dash. Dinner's on us next time. Oh, this is probably, the, this leg of the quest is the reason that this got locked. Because Kuta is here. And you're not seriously thinking of taking him to Boo Boo Pharmacy in this state, are you? Huh? A Paiju when they keeps the Huta away! Oh no! Come on, Baiju. Don't tell me you haven't noticed it. Didn't your master But have a Chi Chi with you and uh she's here to stay. Traces of god remains in Jia Liang's system. Oh, shoot, like Kole? Yes, but more importantly, they're on the birth of an outburst. If that happens, the consequences will be unthinkable. I'm sorry, what? G god remains? Sir, what did you last eat? Hmm. There's no need to worry, Director Hu. I have methods of keeping them at bay. He was hungry. You know, no matter how hungry you are, I would recommend against nibbling on a god, um, especially god remains, uh, especially if you haven't cooked it correctly. It is the sworn duty of all who practice medicine to cure illnesses and save lives. What reason would I have to neglect a patient in need who is right there in front of me? Besides, it was my late master's dying wish to be able to save this patient in particular. Perhaps out of respect for him, you could give me a day's grace so that I have time to treat him? <gasps> You're bringing Hi. your great uncle into this? Baiju, just what are you planning this time? Yummy. I, well, um, eat at your own risk. <sighs> Merely to cure this man, nothing more. But of course, if you have any doubt as to my intentions, you are more than welcome to accompany me to Boo Boo Pharmacy and monitor my activities. The more they carry this on, the more I'm 
becoming uh, suspicious of his uh, ulterior motives. Oh, really? I thought I was persona non grata at Boo Boo Pharmacy. You're being unusually generous today. <laughs> We're unobservant. I don't think we really have much of a say. Okay, deal. We're not going to solve anything by keeping Jia Liang here. I'm happy to do it your way, but only for my great uncle's sake and the travelers, of course. We must be pleased you brought the Traveler along. Otherwise, this would have been a much more vexing ordeal. Well, time is <laughs> of the essence. Let's get ourselves back to Boo Boo Pharmacy at once. He probably brought us along for this exact reason. Hmm, blockages within the cardiovascular system. Reduced blood flow and energy circulation. I see. I suppose this must have caused the cognitive abnormalities. Dr. Baiju, how bad is it? Can you cure him? Don't you worry. Baiju's a really great doctor. He's sure to find a way. Isn't that right, Baiju? Ayu, do you know when your father first started displaying these symptoms? Um, I'm not sure. He's been like this for as long as I can remember. But it wasn't as bad as this when I was still little. Hmm, so it's been a long time indeed. Ooh, that's not good. Oh. I have a treatment plan in mind. We can start tonight. Come and see me again tomorrow morning. I promise that by then, Ayu will find his father healthy and lucid again. Thank you, Dr. Baiju. Thank you so much. If you still have any misgivings, Director Hu, please feel free to hang around for as long as you wish. However, it would be best if you step outside this room. A doctor must be able to focus when treating a patient. Any distractions heighten the risk of complications. Yes, of course, absolutely. I'll just go and look at the flowers or something. But I will be back in an instant at the first sign that something's amiss. See you tomorrow, Baiju and Chang Chang. <sighs> Bye for now, every- Nope. Oh, cut you off, I'm sorry. Are you ready, Baiju? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm used to it by now. Come on, let's get started. Ooh, that sounds potentially tragic. <sighs> oh, as well that ends well, huh? You know, I was kind of curious after hearing Baiju mention those people from his past. What do you think they were like? Yeah, you must be curious too, right? Let's go see what we can find out while Baiju's busy treating Ayu's dad. Want to bet that it's not blocked anymore? Yep. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, back to 3.7. By the way, I remember one time I was doing an event. It was blocked by some other quest. I went and started that quest, and then that quest got blocked by the event quest, which was very interesting. Okay, I'll hydrate. Where merchants block and all ships dock. Now I understand what that saying was trying to describe. Still, nothing beats seeing it with your own eyes. Mm. Oh ho, who? Welcome to Li Wei Harbor. I hope you had a smooth journey. Lady Li Wang instructed me to wait for you here. I haven't been able to move from this bridge for the last two days. I assist Lady Li Wang with collecting and organizing intelligence. That's right, Byron! I'm a remembered gal. The other two are Bai Chu and Bai Xia. Lady Ning Guang? Do you mean Tian Shuen of the Liu Wei Qi Xing? Yep, that's her. But why does Li Wang want to see us? Wait, and how does she even know that we'd be arriving in Liu Harbor today? Lady Li Wang likes to stay informed. Nothing slips through her intelligence network. So we're being stalked by, like, many interested parties. That's fun. She wishes to invite our visitor from Fontaine, Mademoiselle Charlotte, to join her at Eugene Terrace to discuss cooperation. Hmm. What would she want with me? 
This is the first time I've ever been to Liyue Harbor. Lady Li Wang has known of you for quite some time. A talented and capable journalist with a singular who writes insightful, engaging, and, most importantly, factual prose. She rather admires your work. She also understands that in revealing the truth to your exclusive news, you have offended some interested parties that have been pulling strings behind the scenes. And that is why you have been sent on an international <laughs> fighting trip to cover the Genius Invocation TCG events. Oh, so she's been cast out because she was causing trouble. Yeah, no, that's fair. Hello! But I'm surprised to learn that Lady Ling Wong knows so much about my situation. Does she know my boss or something? <laughs> Paima wouldn't be surprised. She seems to know everyone and everything. Lady Ling Wong also welcomes the two of you to join, if you're interested. Oh, you didn't tell me you were best buddies with Lady Ling Wong. Oh, Paima wouldn't go that far. <laughs> and use the jade chamber as a weapon a couple times. Eh, enough with the humble brag. But anyway, if anyone wants to discuss work stuff with Charlotte, it's probably going to be best if we stay out of the way, right? Maybe we can go ask around about the card snatcher while you have your meeting with Ming Wong. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, sure. Right, thanks. Then I'll leave you to it. Let's catch up and swap notes later. I'm actually pretty excited to meet Lady Ming Wong, so I don't want to keep her waiting. Very well. Please, Mademoiselle Charlotte. Follow me. See you two later. Sounds like Charlotte's a top-notch journalist, huh? I'm not that sure what that exclusive news is all about, but it definitely sounds like a big deal. And if she manages to write up an article about this card snatcher case, we'll be featured in her exclusive news too. Oh, it feels like we're about to become famous. We're already famous. I'm on, don't let it get to your head. Alrighty. First, this way. Oh, I, yeah. No, actually, these would be unlocked right now, wouldn't they? I won't lie, I want to do more gear puzzles. <laughs> where are they? Where are they? Over here, mayhap. Look at a map. Okay. This way. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not doing the card game right now, though. Okay. So. Well, this one needs to be a small gear. Um, this one or this one? I kind of have to swap these two. Wait, no, this is rotate. <gasps> it's different. Okay. In that case, yes, that works. Um, do I have any more small? No, I do not, which means I do have to. Nope. Hmm. I'll figure it out. This one has to be a medium gear. Because I can't use another small gear. If that's the case, I might have to... No? No, it has to be small gear because of how close that is. Whoops. Oh, that works. Nice! Oh man, I love the jumping sounds. Uh, that I don't think- that- that's not a voiceover for me, that's from the game, but like, oh my god, it is the best thing that they could have chosen. Uh, which ones? <gasps> I can do three surfaces! Oh no! Well, let's see. This one is on the same panel, so it has to be a medium gear. Um, this one can't move. So this one has to be a large gear. This is the other surface you could potentially switch with. I don't think I need to swap these. Large, and then if I just rotate that, there we go. 
Yeah. Yeah, I still don't have those, so I can't go there yet. Or a couple just... Oh, okay. I thought it was uh, still time-locked. I thought that uh, everything was already unlocked. Yeah, I'm not doing the card game right now. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Quest. Uh, this way. Or that way, or... Many directions. Uh, this way. Boing. Hello! You allergic to cats? Have you noticed anyone here collecting hardbacks for Genius Invocation TCG recently? Hardbacks? <laughs> uh, no, I'm afraid not. Honestly, I feel you, my guy. Allergy season is the worst, and it's still not over because the weather refuses to rain. Sorry, just before. <laughs> oh, he's allergic. To okay, Venti would be allergic to Kirara. Got it. <laughs> Stands guard, evil shall never <laughs> prevail. <laughs> oh no. That is a big fish. Hey there, got a question for you. Ah, uh, hello. Ask away. If it's fish you want, I've got all the answers. Uh, actually, it's not about fish. We were just wondering, since you're here all day running your stall. We're not here to ask about fish, but we are asking about a uh, fishy situation. Genius anyway. Invocation TCG. Hmm. Afraid I don't know anything about that. People come here for black back bass, but not card backs. Really? Sorry to bother you then. We'll try our luck somewhere else. Uh, don't you want to buy some fish to take with you? All my fish are super fresh, you know. No, no, sir. We are finished here. Anyway. <laughs> Listen, fish puns are just a different scale. I don't usually get to use. Anyway. <laughs> oh, sure. Ask away. The ship's already set sail anyway, so I've got all the time in the world. Have you seen anyone around here recently collecting card backs? You know. Okay, Sino. Listen, I am solely responsible for my terrible sense of humor. <laughs> Not my fault I vibe with them. You bet I never pulled them. Oops. Collecting card backs? Hmm. I've definitely seen people around here playing the game, but I'm usually preoccupied with thinking about the sea. I've never paid too much attention to it. I promise next time his rerun rolls around. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, with enough puns, maybe you'll be singing a different tune. Oh, that's actually such a mood, though. Me too, guy. Me too. Well, this got off to a slow start. Let's try somewhere else. Yo, what up? Hey, you two. Looking for someone? <gasps> Kasuha! Huh? Sorry. I'm on no trap, boys. It's Kasuha! Nice to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. Let's crack in. We get to see Kazuha again. How have you been? Well, thank you. Even better now that you're here. Captain Beto needed to return to Liwa to take care of some business. So I've been taking the chance to get to walk around town. It's a nice surprise to run into you two here. Looks like you have questions. May I be of any help? Well, long story short. What did I do? Uh, I am doing this. <laughs> is as peaceful and pleasant as ever. I don't believe that the card snatcher you're looking for has been through here. 
otherwise what i did was uh i made this silly png in like as fast as i could because <laughs> i was like oh maybe i should have like a little something here i don't have my vtuber model done yet so it's just like i, I should have something here right so i like drew it as quickly as i could and i had to like fill in like uh random holes in the coloring a couple of times i think there's still a hole on her like shoulder but that's fine I'm not sure if that's good news or bad in your eyes. Oh, by the way, it seems there's a competition being held nearby. I stopped to have a look. This Genius Invocation TCG. It seems to be immensely popular at the moment. Oh, thank you. I, uh, I, luckily, luckily I've gotten really fast at working on this because, um, I'm I'm planning on like streaming some uh Savage Raid prog for 14 and like I drew everyone in my static like a little one of these so I had like a base I was working off of so I could do it much faster. Cause uh there's eight of us. <laughs> I made one and then just modeled all the faces on the same one. But yeah. Hopefully we will do well in uh, this tier. I have seen horror stories. Fourteen hey, Kirara cosplay stream. I do not have the guts to cosplay as Kirara. I don't think I can pull off a craft top. Although I did. Maybe one day I'll do it as a joke, but like I did make a Kirara alt on a 14 as a joke. We'll see. No, I haven't. I have quietly observed from the side. The captain brought a small box aboard recently that contained a variety of beautifully illustrated. I should turn drinks. off my phone she notifications. Like Whoops. While enjoying a few drinks. A few too <laughs> many, perhaps. Kirara alt. Kirara does savage. No! <laughs> that alt is like level one. I'm on stop indoctrinating all our friends. Traveler, stop indoctrinating all our friends. Card based combat does sound quite delightful. All right, then. Show me the ropes, if you please. Paimon can teach you. Paimon lets the traveler play a game. Paimon's a master invocator now. I'm sorry, this smug face. <laughs> EA Desmond, I level world record speed. I haven't done Eden. My first tier was uh, Pandemonium. <laughs> My first actual full tier was Abyssos, so, um, I am merely a bab. After we teach you the rules, we'll also have to get you attached to their totem. But what about this card snatcher you're looking for? Is not dealing with that more urgent at present? Thanks for keeping the brain cell, Kazuha. Oh, good point. <laughs> Paimon got so caught up chatting with our old friend that she nearly forgot about our promise to our new friend. Kazuha is so cool. He's just great. I am a big fan of Kazoo. And <laughs> Moogle delivery quests and only Moogle delivery quests. <laughs> hmm. Now where should we go next? Go next. Huh? Anyway. Hey, look over there. Isn't that the Inazuma courier who Diona was chatting with back in Mondstadt? What's she doing here? Kasa, <laughs> best girl. Huh. I just noticed the logo at her waist. Isn't that Komamiya Express? It me! Huh? Do you know that company, Kazuha? Yes, I've heard of it. They provide delivery services in Inazuma. Hmm. Looks like she's having some trouble. Why don't we oh. go and introduce her? the volume, I can do that. Hold on. Uh, oh, you know what I could do? Because I can do this, and then this. And that should be louder for you, but won't be too loud for me. Ho, ho, ho. Possibly. This is as high as I... Well, no, no, I could make it louder. Uh, is this better? 
I don't know if this is now too loud, but... Oh yeah, I, d I also meant for the game. Like, is this the uh, louder now? This is actually... This is now genuinely as loud as I can go. Okay, cool. Oh no! Kirara meeting Kirara. I feel like this is a bit of a paradox. It's okay. Uh, yokai. Clones or something. I don't know. Hmm. Which way is it from here? Who's the real one? Um, throw down some fish. We'll see which one turns into a cat. Monster? Oh my god, I forgot I did that. <laughs> yep, Paimon's name is Paimon. These two are the Traveler and Kaidahara Kazuha. It's a strange coincidence running into you again. Hello. Hello. My name's Kirara. I'm a courier for Inazuma's Komania Express. I know Komania Express is widely praised for its punctual and safe delivery services, but I wasn't aware that the company had started operating internationally. <laughs> well... I, uh, had a lot of practice growing up. Wow, it's rare to meet a fellow Inazuman abroad. Our company just recently began expanding its services overseas. Which is great for me, because now I basically get paid to travel all around the world. Only downside is, I sometimes get a bit lost when it's my first time in a new city. Sometimes, when I'm running late, I even have to change back into my original form and climb over walls to make sure the parcel's on time. You know what? Yeah, we we love you for that. <laughs> uh, do you happen to know the way to the Longsheng Funeral Parlor? I feel like I've been going in circles all day. Yeah, we know the place. We'll show you the way. You will? Oh, thank you so much. No, Kutal's busy. Dang it. Ready for another detour? Why did it? No, like, why does it get, like, stopped sometimes? Oh, man. All right. This way. <laughs> Your is very adorable. Oh, my gosh. Do it for her. Do it for her. Okay. Hi, Huta. Called snake bedecked docks doing surgery. Hello, you busy bees, and what do you have to discuss with the funeral director today? So, um, I need to talk to you so that you can go and play TCG. Oh, sure. Um, Don't tell me, let me guess. Hmm. From the looks on your faces, <laughs> you've got some questions for me. Uh, <laughs> guilty as charged. So, um, Hutal, here, Tal. before Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor was first founded to fight back against the vengeful wrath of gods defeated in war. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, it is a dusty old tale by this point. Long story short, in the ancient world, dead gods were acting up. So our ancestors started purifying the air and burning the bodies of the deceased to guard the border between life and death. These days, we don't deal with the wrath of the gods anymore, but all the relevant know-how is still passed down to each generation. <laughs> Why, so Tal? We can identify gods' remains when we see them. Where, Tal? Okay, Paimon gets it now. Wait, so how did Baiju learn to spot them? Almost certainly from his master, who was also my great uncle. Baiju's master was my grandpa's younger brother. A former deputy director of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Wow, <laughs> what fancy the? dad! Huh. Uh, so, if he was from Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor, how did he end up as Baiju's master? Wen Tal. Uh, do I know who Tal's VA personally? Uh, no, I do not. According to my grandpa, he 
and my great uncle once went traveling together when they were young. They ended up at Chen Yu Vale where they met a pharmacist. Oh no, not a pharmacist. That pharmacist must have cast some sort of spell on my great uncle. Because after that encounter, he suddenly announced he wanted to leave the family business and go practice medicine instead. A spell? I. I don't know, I feel like it's just someone wanting to do something else with their life. My grandpa had a huge argument with him, but he couldn't convince him to stay. So my grandpa inherited the funeral parlor, while my great uncle stayed in jail to practice medicine. They never spoke to each other again. Funeral director to doctor is a pretty big career change. Kinda hard to imagine. But why did it drive a wedge between them for the rest of their lives? That seems a bit extreme. If he had just become a regular doctor, there would have been no issue. After all, the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor wasn't unlike a regular doctor's clinic in the early days. But according to my grandpa, the pharmacist they met had a very ominous aura about him. And on top of that, the kind of medicine practiced in the Chen Yu Vale tradition goes against the natural order of things. In what way? Don't know. My grandpa didn't know the specifics. And you've seen how wary Baiju is around me. He'd never tell me anything. But even that says to me that he definitely has something to hide. One hmm. thing I do know about Baiju is that he's obsessed with the idea of immortality. But whether that has anything to do with what he's hiding is hard to say. I feel like it's less immortality and more, um, dealing with his very imminent mortality. Anyway, so I will be sticking around here for now to keep a close eye on the situation. Maybe tomorrow I'll finally figure out what he's up to. Maybe being healthy. That's true. God forbid uh, a doctor wants to be healthy. Am I free? <laughs> Okay, so am I? Dang it! Ah, okay. All right, all right, all right. What, what was the time? Like, it, it said tomorrow, so I'll just spin a full day. I don't know. Yeah, I think. It might be a little bit early still. I think it should be eight. Yeah, eight. Okay. It's a new day. Let's go back to Boo Boo Pharmacy and check out how Jialiang is doing. Yeah, I just stood in one place and stared into the uh, abyss for a full day. Dad, is he okay? Probably. Are you? Dad, you remember me. Yes, I remember now. Oh, I, you, I'm so sorry. You must have been worried sick. Has your mom shown up yet? She's been gone for a while, hasn't she? Don't worry, Dad. I got the Adventurers Guild to help us look for her. And Dr. Baiju's gonna help too. Right now, all you need to do is concentrate on getting better. Great, that's wonderful. I can't thank you enough, Dr. Baiju. My pleasure, really. It's the least I can do to honor my late master's dying wish. If anything, I should be apologizing to you for not making the time to visit in all these years. <laughs> not at all, Dr. Baiju. It's only because Jiang Li... Uh... Hmm... What was her reason again? You're still in the early stages of recovery, so you'll need to take it easy for a while. Take it slowly, and try not to overexert yourself. I suggest you stay at Boo Boo Pharmacy and rest for at least the next few days. Director Hu, do you have any further reservations about Jia Liang's condition? Is Chongsheng, like, certified as well? <laughs> mm, it seems like the evil presence is gone after all. You really did manage to suppress it, huh? But how did you accomplish this in a single night? 
<laughs> that would be a trade secret, I'm afraid. If that gives you any cause for concern, you may continue to monitor Jia Liang for as long as you wish. That's such an ominous laugh. Like, Kai, I thought you were trying to not be suspicious. Yeah, Changsheng is adorable. I joked in like 1.0 days that I would like, I would want to pull for Baiju just because of, of Changsheng. But uh, I had to save her Kirara and even then had to spend um, a lot. <laughs> Though I no, Changshan, but exactly. The Fubu Pharmacy cannot offer to reimburse Wangsheng Funeral Parlor for any revenue lost in the meantime. Oh, come on, Baiju. I'm not that unreasonable. Ah. Ooh, I wonder what that means. Yeah. I've been stuck indoors for too long. Baiju, take me outside for some air, or I'm going to suffocate. What if Changsheng had a hat? Okay, but like, yes, Snakes with Tiny Hats is amazing. I recommend you look it up. Another addendum to uh, uh, Snakes with Tiny Hats. Um, sea urchins will willingly wear hats. Like, that is, that is a life-changing um, knowledge that has been presented to me. So like uh like sea urchins in I think it's sea urchins uh in the wild uh they they like wear like rocks and stuff on their head for like various reasons depending on the type of uh sea urchin but like people who keep them in like aquariums well you see you can give them a tiny hat you can present that to them and there's a chance that they will wear a tiny hat and like it's the best thing people 3D print things for them to wear it's the best why have you two bird bees shoot with a tiny hat? I mean, yeah, go for it. Shoot for the stars. Ah, yes, of course. Everyone, please excuse Changsheng and myself for a moment. Changsheng out here, just covering for, for her friend. That's that's a good friend right there. Hey, we need to leave the party real quick. Uh, I personally am not feeling very good. Oh. Suffering now, are we? Did you seriously expect to cover it up just by putting on a brave face and ignoring it? If it weren't for my quick thinking, they'd have all seen the sorry state you're in by now. But in any case, why must you keep this a secret from everybody? You should at least share your secret with one person you trust. Wow, we Who's wandered there? in at just the right moment. <laughs> Bye. Why did you follow us here? Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. I just needed to get some air. <coughs> Man, you cough in like your sprinting sounds. What You're not okay. You say about putting on a brave face. Oh, hiss. Oh, hiss. <laughs> I love that. Paimon, the truth is. Baiju did not cure Jia Liang's illness. He took it into himself, didn't he? Yeah, the first Google results are them wearing cowboy hats. There's also like Viking hats and like other little hats. It's the best thing. Instead, he transferred some of his own life force to his patient to temporarily subdue the poison in his system. Oh, opposite. Okay, he's okay. Baiju, can you please explain? He's dying. <laughs> My predecessors in medicine forged a contract with Changsheng. Every successor to this contract is able to use Changsheng's secret art to treat patients. I believe the irregularities with Jia Liang's heart meridian were likely caused by a poison concocted using god remains as a key ingredient. The poison has not been purged from Jia Liang's system. Rather, I infused him with some of my own life force using Changsheng as the delivery medium. This will suppress the poison's effects for a limited time. By the way, the, the contrast of like the way he's reading these, like he's saying this in comparison to earlier when he was putting on a brave face, is like good stuff. Changsheng, you can do that? Huh. 
time on. Bold of you to say. Take a look at yourself before throwing those kinds of stones. Hey, I'll have you know that I commanded the respect of even the Adepti back in Chenyu Vale. If anything, he is my mannequin. Okay. I was treating patience with Baiju's master's master long before he ever set eyes on his first medical text. Oh, guess you shouldn't judge a snake by its skin. Please, that's enough. <coughs> Wait a sec. Huto was saying that the branch of medicine you studied uses some pretty dubious methods. So, when you transfer your life force, does that mean you're actually damaging your own body? Sounds like Hardly. it. Hardly. No? Xiang Xiang helps to keep my chi in balance, so there is no great harm done. Bold of a man to say while coughing out his guts. Still, Baiju's life force is not unlimited. We must find a way to neutralize the poison in Jiao Yang's body. And soon, traveler, Paimon, would you lend this dummy a hand? <laughs> he needs someone checking up on him, or he'll exhaust himself trying to accomplish everything on his own. <sighs> Baiju. Don't you think you should seize this opportunity? You cannot expect to hide this from everyone for your entire life. Time will see that all secrets surface eventually. Entire life? It's not very long from what I recall of his story. Thank you, Traveler and Paimon. From what I heard, anyway. Poison in Jialiang's system must have accumulated over a prolonged period. I think I should pay a visit to their family home and look for clues as to how he might have been exposed to it. Yes, I asked Ayu this morning before you arrived. He told me that his family lives in a secluded spot to the west of Qingsa village. Let's head there together once I've asked Gui and Chi Chi to look after the pharmacy. As well as investigating Jia Liang's exposure to the poison, we should also keep an eye out for Ayu's missing mother, my fellow disciple, Jiang Li. Hmm. Okay. Now. Oh god, I lost it. Where the. Uh, this way. This way? Okay, cool. Back to card games. I just... Oh, that's so sad. I... Uh, we're, we'll be here to help you. But first, card games. Exactly, my priorities are right. Box cat is best way of travel. Look all! Hello! Lights the traveler in Paimon. What brings you here? And I see you've brought some friends, clients, business partners, new associates. <laughs> Maybe leave the introductions to Paimon. This is Kaida Harakazua, and this is Kirara. <laughs> I love she said. I love how she said this is Kaida Harakazua and pointed at Kirara. <laughs> That's great. I just heard a cat, but it's not me. Hello. It is an honor to meet you. Greetings, old friends and new. So, what brings you all to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor this fine day? Wait, don't tell me. Is it our latest promotion? Well, I'm touched that you journeyed all this way. No, no. We were just giving Kirara directions. Hello, ma'am. Are you Director Huta of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? I'm your Komania Express Courier, and we have a delivery for you. I just need to ask you for a signature. Let me see. Ah, uh, yes, I've been expecting this. Delivery services these days make everything so much easier. 
I used to have to send my consultant running to and fro for this kind of thing. But you mean Zhong Li? <laughs> I. Well, no, he's not the one managing the money, at least in that situation. He's just picking things up. Say, Kirara, how flexible is your company in terms of delivering different types of goods? How about a living person? And what about someone who's more in between alive and dead? <laughs> Do you mean Chi Chi? I'm not going to kidnap her for you. Uh, uh. We have a uh, no living things uh, policy in these containers. Um. The tails are standing up on end. Guess that's a no. Well, maybe we can talk about potentially expanding your company's services sometime. I need to talk to my manager for that. Uta is just, uh, Uta is just quirky, you know? Just doing a little, little business talk about transferring bodies. Hmm. C could I trouble you to take a moment and leave a five-star review? Five stars? Well, that's an odd number. Let's make it an even six. No, much too low. Service this good deserves at least eight. In fact, nine. One extra for going the extra mile. Oh, five stars will be plenty, really. That <laughs> tends for you. Means a lot. All right. I should be on my way now. Thanks again for the directions. Mm. You handle every delivery? Uh, not necessarily. Business has been picking up lately, so the company has hired lots of new staff. But I handle all the international deliveries because I'm the quickest. I am a yokai after all. I don't... No, she doesn't send the bandits away in a package. She sends them packing. <laughs> she beats them up. Oh god, sending them back in a package. That's so messed up. That got dark fast. No, the other staff don't become boxes, and that's why Kirara is more popular. Because, like, it would just make your day to, like, get your package through, like, this tiny cat in a box, walk it up with another box on them. Like, I think that's... I wouldn't even need to, like, get anything, and I, that would just make my day. Anyway. So chances are that we'll see you on the road again soon. Cool. Well, I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Although... Hopefully, next time it won't be because I'm lost. I heard you reciting a poem just now, Director Who. May I ask from where you drew your inspiration? Corpses! Um, <clears throat> Kara gets all the five star reviews. She got. Yeah, I think she. In one of the lore. Uh, in one of the voice lines, like she. Or like one of the descriptions like she uh she was offered a position like a higher position that pays more but like then she wouldn't get to travel so she turned it down she, she just wants to go out and see the world and like you know what fair enough oh do you share a liking for poetry as well once in a while i throw words at each other see what sticks uh, yeah there's no need for self-deprecation i've seen people from all walks of life and I can tell just from the way your sleeves flutter in the wind that you are a man of culture. He is a man of culture. Anyway, That's true. <laughs> I'm preparing for the tournament final that will be held shortly. Anyone feeling poetic? I need ideas. Tournament final? Ooh, you mean the Genius Invocation TCG tournament? Yeah, that's the one. My next opponent is no small fry. Most of the time, he's so unassuming you couldn't pick him out of a crowd. But during this tournament, it's like he sprang up out of the ground like a whopper flower and took the competition completely by surprise. You're always like the only delivery person we'll ever see. So, yeah, she's the one setting all the records. So fast or slow, always in record time. So I have a strong feeling that this will be a tough battle to win. It's Timmy again. Then shouldn't you be focusing on your strategy? gonna help because skill doesn't thrill unless you've also got style what <laughs> what let me give you an example you'd be more familiar with to make a great dish it takes not just flavor but presentation too 
Ever heard the saying it takes two flint to light a fire? The same principle applies when you're trying to make an impression. He has 30 zero record. Timmy is out here about to be the TCG final boss, the actual main story final boss. Hmm. Leader of the Fatui. Duels to the death, some samurai pay each other respects before the fight. Often, the two opponents find they have much in common. See? New guy gets it. What did I say? A man of culture. <laughs> Same day your hour delivery through Monstead Prime. You have to buy Prime for each country you're in, too, if you want delivery uh, internationally. You flatter me, Director Who. In my humble opinion, you could try incorporating your competitive aspirations into your lines. Or perhaps some words to intimidate your opponent. Just offer them a coffin oh, in this trying time. We have an expert among us. Hey, why don't you play a match with me? It'll help me warm up and maybe find some creative inspiration. As much as I'd like to oblige, I'm afraid that I haven't played before. I don't even have my own deck. You can have my sorry excuse of a deck. <laughs> the little cat oh i got very distracted sorry what was that paimon since everyone is so willing to offer their help how can i refuse 1399 mora per year so yearly subscription it's pretty cheap you little tips and tricks she's picked up from watching the traveler play well think you can handle it from here kazuha i think i've got it thank you paimon sensei I can hear the ego flow into well, her head. Well, Ready to go one on one against Liyue's most notorious backstreet poet? Yes. Thank you for the opportunity, Director Who. Any last words before the duel begins? Oh my god. Uh, one moment. Okay. I think I've got something. Wow, that was fast. All right. Say your piece, Challenger. Whoa, things are really heating up. Minds like sharp blades clash. Friendship forged through cards and dice. Autumn leaves burn bright. I, Kaedahara Kazuha, humbly accept this duel. It's the thing from the trailer. <laughs> the birds are chirping, the weather's so nice. Watch me roll six pyro dice. Director Who of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is ready for battle. Gotta give her some catnip for a job well done. <laughs> a jarring change of genre. <laughs> My turn. She. Thrilling. So thrilling that we can't get to see it. Ah, I am defeated. It's no wonder that Director Who has earned a spot in the tournament finals. Yeah, that's fair. Talk about an exciting match, though. Good thing I was able to send off all those summons of yours. I have to say, it's hard to believe that this was your first time playing. <laughs> that's right. Who thought one? So, uh, next, uh, tournament will be... Cat! Sorry. Uh, <laughs> the next tournament will be between her and Timmy. I owe it all to Paimon Sensei's teaching. Huh? You really mean that? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Paimon's ego is so inflated she's floating. Hey! Paimon's always been able to float in the air! <sighs> well, Kazuha, did you enjoy Genius Invocation TCG? Yes, indeed. There is a good variety of card abilities, and the tempo of oh, the no, we've can got swing em. in an instant. I understand now why it's become so popular across Tavat. Oh, seems the world's gained yet another TCG player. Kuching! When did you get here? Shortly after these two had begun their match, everyone seemed so focused on the game that I didn't want to interrupt. You must be Kaedehara Kazuha? Your reputation precedes you. It's an honor to finally meet you. What does. I think, like, in terms of, like, popularity and stuff, it's probably comparable to magic. 
Please, the honor is all mine. I have heard great things about the I've never played magic. From <laughs> just call me Kuching. You played very well indeed, considering it was your first time. I'm impressed. There goes with half, probably back to Baijuza. Baijuza questline. If we ever have the opportunity, I too would like to play a match with you. Wow, Kaiser was already lined up his next opponent. Why so surprised? Practically everyone at Yujing Terrace is playing Genius Invocation TCG these days. I also play from time to time, when time permits. You know, I feel like... Aren't they supposed to be, like, overworked constantly? It would be my pleasure hmm. to join you for a match. However, I can't borrow the Traveler's deck forever. Our match might have to wait until after I manage to obtain my own casket of tomes. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. When we get back to the tournament venue, I'll ask a member of the Genius Invocation TCG Society to provide one for you. Isn't pot of- oh, teapot of greed. They work 80 hours a week since it's their full-time job. Yeah, I, I just thought they were, like, overworking themselves, because, like, I, I know that uh, Gayu is like that. Yeah, pot of greed is, like, banned or something, right? <laughs> Don't think about returning the favor. I assure you, it's no inconvenience. Besides, a friend of the traveler is a friend of us all. No begins his addiction to cardboard crack. I am grateful for your kindness, Kuching. I play Exodia. Pleasure. Also, Hu Tao, the final is about to start. I just came to make sure you're aware. Did she just pop up behind her? Don't worry. What were you doing? It might look like my mind's on other things, but I'm still listening. Straight up for Wait, what is so bad about Pot of Greed? Pot of Greed just lets you draw two cards, right? Why is it like super banned? Thorough preparation is the key to victory, after all. Will you all be coming with us to the venue? All oh, right. Back to the task at hand. Um, we're investigating a card snatcher. Have any of you seen someone going around collecting genius invocation card backs recently? Card backs? You mean like the kind with the treasure chest design on it? Yes, exactly. That's the one. It's easy to draw that I can help you out depending on. Oh, I see. Huh. Funny. The word snatcher didn't come to mind when I saw him. He struck me as more of a potential client. Girl, are you about to put a hit on this guy? Oh, there's a new pot of greed. Oh. Huh. I saw him playing a match against Chong Yun this morning. He said that whoever lost would have to hand know. over their card back. It was close, but he managed to beat Chong Yun in the end. After the match, he wiped the sweat from his forehead, took the card back from Chong Yun, and left. Sounds like we need to go talk to Chong Yun then. In that case, try Uang Hill. I think that's where he should be, if I may ask. What else is this alleged card snatcher suspected of doing? Literally nothing. Um, we don't know too much about him, apart from his obsession with card backs. But apparently, he's stolen other players' cards before. I think we're just spreading misinformation. I see. I'll inform the Millilith to be on the lookout for this individual. But while he's still at large, make sure you stay safe. I think I'll go with the Traveler to Wong Hill. Alright, see you later. With so many people rooting for me, I'm sure the match will be over before I can say, phew. Pot of prosperity. Why are there so many pots out there? All right, let's go find Chung Yun. We have no evidence. Yeah, we genuinely have no a cat. Sorry, we have no evidence at all. All we know is that this guy just likes collecting cards. All right, and over here. Secretly a cat girl IRL. I mean, I've been told. <laughs> oh no, another kid. Hey, don't panic. I'm sure we'll find her. 
Is there like another kid who's lost their mom? Paimon, traveler. And hello, I am Kaidahara Kazuha. Hi, I'm Chong Ying, an exorcist from Liyue. Long story short, this boy lost his friend while they were playing hide and seek. <laughs> I told little you not to hide anywhere too far away, but I've looked everywhere and I still can't find her. Okay, maybe not their parent in this case, but man, all these kids losing people. Uh oh, it could be dangerous to get lost out here in the wilderness. Um, we'll all look for her too. Did you see which direction she went? Yeah, I kind of peeked a little bit when I was counting. She went that way. Okay, then let's start looking in that direction. I'd give her head pads too. Uh, this way. Little child? Little you? Little you? Where are you? Hmm. Oh, sorry, Kaza. <laughs> Oh, you're still alive. Hold on. There we go. Let's change that. Seriously, why are we always running into these guys? Hey, everyone, have a look at this. They've got cards. Are those genius invocation cards? Oh, I know that one. It belongs to little you. This guy is freaking. These grown men just robbed a small child of their cards. Why? What do you hope to gain from that? Oh, congrats to your friend. Her dad gave her a deck, and it's her favorite thing. She takes it with her every Competition is rough. I mean, I guess, is are there no booster packs being sold? I feel like you can get them pretty easily. So little you is definitely here. But there's a fork in the road up ahead. Oh, which way should we go? Wait a moment. Did Little Yu's father also give her a small box to store the cards? Yeah, a casket of tomes. I have one too. Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, that's a weird function, huh? Yes. As long as she still has the box with her, we should be able to determine her location. Quick, get a casket of tomes out! Let's see. There's Chang Yoon and Little Fang. Aha! There's another player over there! That must be Little Yu! <laughs> Is it the say so? Uh, kinda. Uh, I'm still working, reworking, like, the whole, like, say thing, so, like, it's just. I'll, I'm working on it. <laughs> Everything's very, uh. Little Yu! <laughs> Voice actor, the cat delivery character. Yeah, she's lost. She's probably in Inazuma right now. Yeah, if people could track you based on your Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, literally, that's a little bit... Hmm... Little Fong? <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have gone so far away. I was trying to find a hiding place, but then I saw a bunch of really angry-looking guys and I got scared. So I ran and ran until oh, I ended up here. <laughs> okay, so this means then that she dropped the cards and then the treasure hoarders saw fit to take them. Just take the cards anyway? It's... Are they into the card game? <laughs> Who would they play with? Don't worry. We've already taken care of the bad guys. But Uwang Hill is full of yin energy. You shouldn't be playing in a place like this. Understand? Yes, sir. We won't do it again. Thanks, everyone. Thank you for rescuing me. But she didn't really look like she was in need of rescuing, to be perfectly honest. Of course. Now, don't go running off. Hang tight for a moment, and I'll walk you both home. <sighs> 
glad she was okay. Me too. Good on Kazuha for coming up with the Casket of Tomes idea. <laughs> yeah, how did the rest of us not think of that? Huh. Guess we use it so often when we're playing cards that it didn't occur to us to use it for anything else. Oh, thank you guys. And thank you for choosing Komania Express. <laughs> Invented it must be super brainy. Oh, uh, by the way, Chang Yun, we wanted to ask you about something. Oh, I, I knew there was something fishy about his obsession with card backs. I can't believe it. I let a thief slip right through my fingers. Juliet, wait, no. Deep breaths. Stay calm. Juliet, we have no evidence. That he's actually a thief. It's not your fault. You didn't know what his intentions were. We don't even know his intentions. <laughs> Why is everyone thinking this guy's a criminal? We have like two entire like cities, like uh freaking uh, police officers out here ready to like <laughs> hunt them down. If I'd been he in stole your shoes and he invited me to a duel on the same terms. I doubt I'd have sensed anything untoward either. He stole cards. I feel like that's not enough to like set the Favonius Knights and Millilith on this guy. I feel like it's a little bit of an extreme response. Exactly. He's crafty. My God. He's not paying attention. He'll just steal the card he wants. And if that doesn't work, he'll come up with some other way to get his hands on it. Paimon, you're... <laughs> You're adding more to this story! Did he happen to say anything after he got the card back? I'm heading to Inazuma now. Hoo hoo hoo, better not be followed there. Not a lot. He seemed to be in a hurry. He just packed up his things and then left for the docks. Hmm, but I did hear him grumbling about how far away Inazuma is, and how he wasn't looking forward to the boat journey. He's just jealous he didn't pull any hollow rares or gold rares. Well, that's the thing. He's like, he's going out and like beating people in duels for their card backs that he clearly is collecting, which is probably rare, but like in a way that people don't generally know it's worth at the moment. And it's just like, I don't know. This, this feels, a, I think we're going, uh, jumping a little bit uh, too ahead of ourselves. Then I guess I'll take Little Fong and Little Yu home now. Though I'd really rather help track down that thief. Uh, you're yeah, fine. You're this right. guy might not even be a when thief, back, to be honest. I should probably meditate for a while to calm myself down. Hmm. Thanks for your concern. One violent cards game. Yeah, I. <laughs> they even have a spin off that involves violence, so I don't know. Alrighty. I guess I will go here. And I. Card should be 8. <laughs> Genius invocation invoking violence, oh no. Well, let's be real, it has to be not 18+, plus because otherwise Timmy wouldn't be able to go out and kick Kaya's butt. What an incredible match. Truly mesmerizing to watch two players compete at such a high level. <laughs> what? We missed the final again? Ugh, I'm always hoping we'd at least get to catch a glimpse of the final round. <sighs> You're back. Did you find Chong Yun? Everything goes smoothly? There were a few hiccups along the way, but in the end, it all turned out fine. Um, so Hu Kao, did you win your match? <laughs> of course. It didn't go quite as phew as I'd expected, but all in all, it was still a good old wham-bam, I'd like to thank my fam. 
you know, I didn't do the event that involved the rap, but I did see the Maxor video. <laughs> anyway, My that's it. It was no pushover. We both took out a couple of each other's character cards before it came down to the decisive round. I closed my eyes, held my breath, and clenched the dice tightly in my hand as I prayed for the blessings of all my supporters in the audience, both visible and invisible. Wink, wink. <laughs> Can you guess what happened next? I guess she was. She all my skill and style. With a flick of the wrist, I released the dice from my hands and shouted my battle cry at the top of my lungs. Watch me roll six pyro dice! And lo and behold, when the dice came to rest, I counted precisely six of the pyro persuasion. It was all <laughs> over before I could say, pyre, pyre, pants on fire. Wow, sounds like your poem worked like a charm. Director whose play style is rapid but graceful, like a lone butterfly navigating the depths of a forest. With a little luck beneath her wings, she soared above the competition. Ah, oh, luck is a key ingredient in every success. Wouldn't you agree, Traveler? Oh, it's Ningguang and Charlotte! Finished with your business meeting? Yep. I have to say, the Tian Shuin has a very incisive mind. She's extremely insightful. I gotta admit, I'm kinda envious of Baiwen now. Oh, wow. You must be Kaidahara Kazuha. It's a pleasure to meet you, Charlotte. Honestly, I understand that reaction. I feel that way too. First the Traveler, now Kazuha. Feels like I've been inducted into the Tevat Heroes Club. I remember when you made the headlines of the Steambird. Young Samurai blocks the Muso no Hitotachi. You captured the public imagination in Fontaine for some time. My oh my. I had no idea I was up against such a legendary warrior in our card duel earlier. That's all in the past now. I count myself as the fortunate one today for this chance to make so many new friends. Today is indeed a momentous day to have brought us all together. I propose that I treat everyone to a meal to mark the occasion, if it pleases you all. Uta and Sino together. Listen, I wouldn't leave that room. I would want to challenge Sino to a pun battle. Oh, <laughs> sounds like it's victory meal time. Count me in. You'll have to excuse me for a moment while I wrap things up at the tournament venue. I'll join you all later. This is great. We can have a nice hearty meal and get a good sleep tonight before heading off to Inazuma tomorrow. Inazuma? Does this mean you found a new lead on the card snatcher? Sure did. Investigating is what we do best. Well, okay, I guess luck played a part in it too. Yeah, we're not good at investigating. We got distracted by a three-hour card duel. Um... I still have some things to take care of here in Liyue. So I'm afraid I won't be able to accompany you to Inazuma. <laughs> Listen, puns are fun. Okay, but remember to keep working on your genius invocation skills. You never know when Paimon Sensei will show up for a surprise inspection. Hmm. I also heard some things about this card snatcher you're pursuing. Did he actually commit crimes? Already? Well, nothing gets past Ningguang, huh? A new card back appeared on the market recently. It's extremely rare and bears an image of a treasure chest. He hasn't even been stealing cards. He's been winning them through contests. Some players are willing to pay exorbitant amounts of more for things of this nature, as they believe they can improve their luck. So I looked into them briefly to see whether there was any genuine commercial value in them. The puns are a great weapon. They're fun and painful. Oh... I- I've been using my Kirara for a shield, but like, I'm really tempted to take advantage of that burst, uh, burst scaling, cause, ooh, it's good. I quickly learned that every card back with that particular design had been scooped up overnight. There's not a single one left in all of Liyue. Ooh, are they scalpers? In that case, I know they haven't committed a crime, but they should be put in jail. <laughs> Usually, I thought this might be just another case of a merchant hoarding goods in hopes of maximizing their profits. But once I heard more, I realized it must be the thief you are after. Is there anything else unusual about these card backs other than their rarity? I've heard a lot of people having good results with Jade Cutter, but uh, I don't know. Unfortunately, since I didn't manage to procure one for myself, I'm unable to say for sure. Although Sacrificial, I think, is more for if you want to stack the shield, and if you're going full in on attack, your shield is going to be pretty... 
Are we committing crimes? No, no, we're not committing crimes. We're accusing someone of crimes that we don't know if they committed. All I know is that despite being custom made, they are not particularly exquisite. If they were, you can be sure I would have purchased one sooner. Hmm. The mystery of this card snatcher gets more baffling at every turn. It doesn't matter. Given how much he likes to talk to himself, he's sure <laughs> to spill all his secrets sooner or later. Oh, Paimon's right, though. He, he's been spilling his secrets really badly. The unknown is a mystery waiting to be solved. But often, it is encounters with the unexpected that make the journey all of the more interesting. For instance, it was certainly a pleasant surprise for me today to meet top talents from all around Tevat. Cool. By the way, does Captain Beto play Genius Invocation TCG by any chance? Yes. In fact, she's oh. one of the best in the whole Crux fleet. Would you mind putting in a Oh, Skyward Sword. I'm a longtime fan of Captain Beto's. I always hoped I'd be friends with her someday, but so far I've never had the chance. Sure. But please be gentle when you inevitably defeat her in Genius Invocation. Dang. 73 pity guaranteed. I hope that one of them is uh, one of the characters that you want. <laughs> heard that even the unofficial Genius Invocation Tournament is enjoying a huge turnout. Many serious TCG players have registered for both the official and unofficial ones. As for me, I don't mind trying my hand at the trending games from time to time, though I still prefer chess. But when it comes down to it, whatever differences there may be between the various games around, they all share one important thing in common. They bring friends together. They bring friends together and tear those friendships apart. Like Monopoly. Oh, hello. Hi there, my name's Charlotte. I'm a reporter for the Steambird. Could I borrow a moment of your time for a brief interview? Uh, sure. Go ahead. You made a promising start in this competition, leaving many contenders in the dust on your way to the finals before narrowly missing out on a championship win when you lost to director Hu Tao of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Ah, it must be difficult for you knowing how close you came to victory. With this in mind, would you like to share your thoughts on how the final match played out? Uh... Sorry, do you want an answer for the media? Or do you want my actual thoughts? I'd like to hear your actual thoughts, of course. Huh. <sighs> Well, I've always said that playing cards is 70% skill and 30% luck. But when your opponent rolls six dice of the same element at once, there's no coming back from that. Not even with Adeptus level skills. So there was no hope for a mere adventurer like me. A mere adventurer? My guy, it's a card game! Charlotte's voice is so good. Yes, I agree. Like, I love the energy. Uh, I think that's it for this one, then. Ah, uh, so... Still not done with the event, but I think for today I'm going to call it. Um, but I am trying to be more regular with streaming, so I will be back on Wednesday to finish this up. Oh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Uh, yeah, I'll be back to finish that up on Wednesday. Uh, and I think that I will also stream some uh, Savage Frog from 14 at some point this week as well. Oh no, I'm sorry! You just got here! <laughs> Savage, yeah. Uh, we're doing... Uh, we're on P9S, but like, we'll, we'll, we're starting that soon, so... It'll be fun. We're gonna die a lot to soccer cut. <laughs> Alrighty. Who can I raid? Who can I find? Let's see who is playing Genshin Impact. Um, <laughs> voice sound like Ayaya. Ayaya? Uh, Genshin Impact. Who is playing right now? Um... Uh... And if you guys have anyone to suggest as well, I am very open to suggestions. Uh, hmm. 
I mean, there's always going to be people streaming. Cheerful Zoo. Okay. I will take your word for it. Hey, yo. Okay. I will do this then. In that case, I will start the raid here. But yeah, thank you guys for showing up. And I'm very sorry for the people who just showed up. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking about streaming at around the same time on Wednesday, so it'll be like uh, 7 to 9.30 Eastern slash 4 to... Oh god, time hard. Um, 6.30 PST. Yes. <laughs> oh, fair enough. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in and see you guys next time. Bye! -bye.